Well, Jim, the uh, list was released by the uh, bishop, George Leo Thomas, and it includes the names of former clergy going back decades. The list handed out by the diocese also includes the name of the churches where the 33 clergy served. At least 19 of the men are now deceased, one retired, the rest were removed from the ministry. Bishop George Leo Thomas says transparency is something he decided to do shortly after taking over the Las Vegas Diocese 11 months ago. One of the things that the victim survivor community has asked is for this commitment to transparency. The bishop says the list was released after determining if the clergy were credibly accused. To do that, Bishop Thomas reached out to someone with a lot of experience, former Clark County District Attorney David Roger, who's also a member of the Clergy Oversight Review Board. He came to us and said that he wanted to do a complete review of uh, every allegations of uh, a clergy misconduct with, with children. Um, he was very candid. Uh, he said that he wanted no stone unturned, left unturned. Um, and he said that uh, he wanted to err on the side of children. No one on the credibly accused list still works in any capacity in the Las Vegas Diocese, and no one has been charged. News 3 is now in the process of trying to determine if anyone on the list still lives in the area to give them an opportunity to respond. I also reached out to the current DA, Steve Wolfson, to see if or how his office might proceed, but at this point we've not heard back on any possible decisions.